What's up, Hardware World? Dave Evans here from Fictive. We're headed out to Davis, California to go meet with the folks from Novados. Novados is a single axis all terrain solar tracker device. It's freaking awesome. These guys have basically found a way to put solar panels on any hill and allow you to optimize the amount of sun that you get based upon the terrain and the time of day. <laughs> Yeah, let me show you the ropes, okay? Oh man, now I feel like I'm actually out. gonna learn. What we're doing at Novados is we're trying to enable installation on sloped land mm -hmm. without drawbacks that we've typically seen in the sloped land installation in the past. And that opens up a phenomenal amount of land. The studies that we've done are saying that we might be tripling the amount of land available for single axis trackers in California. You can get about 25% more power per module than a fixed tilt installation. There are three main pieces to that. There is a mechanical component. Sure. Uh, that's a, how do you install? How do you physically get this system to install on sloped terrain without spending an arm and leg and without the equipment breaking? Second part of that is a control system. How do you gather information and use that information? The third part of that is when you've gathered all that information, what do you do with it? Now what? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one post on any typical tracker right now that can handle that slow flood, and it's in the middle of the, uh, of the, of the row. We've gotten away from that by being, a, being able to distribute the load to every single one of those support posts. And that's where our flexible bearing design comes in. Instead of being fixed and straight through and only, only being in one direction, we can actually vary the input angle and the output angle to follow natural terrain. <laughs> This joint is another one of our primary off-the-shelf components. These are really designed for high-speed, uh, high-angle changes, mm -hmm. and that's really more than we need. We're working with less than a revolution per day, whereas this is designed for, this is from the agriculture industry and probably would fit in one of those great alls or forklifts. Yeah. We're looking to redesign it. There's no real complex manufacturing operations that go into this and that was one of the driving forces behind going with this iteration here. That it needs to be cost effective at scale. Yeah, this is very one-off, right? It's like yeah. plasma, then they're they're fixtured up, it's welded together, then mm -hmm. you're gonna do four ops to actually machine all these holes out. As you get bigger and you get access to more uh, manufacturing capital, then you can start seeking out higher volume cool. manufacturing that's going to be much more cost effective. When it comes to producing solar energy, shadowing is one of the biggest issues. A shadow that covers a mere inch of the device could reduce power generation by a whopping 10 to 20 percent. When the sun comes up over there, this row is casting a shadow on that row. Yep. Shadowing is the death knell for power generation. Get out of the way. Why are you in a shadow? I know, I'm right sorry. Now? When we're tilted and yep. we have some sort of angle change, the yep. post is actually reacting some of that moment for cool. us. If we had no undulations whatsoever, yep. then that would be that would be our worst case. When you have a compound angle, you're transmitting torque in this direction, yep. and then you have only so much of that transmitted into the different angle, and then you have to react that moment through the post. So the breakdown exactly what Kai's talking about, we gotta go back to basic kinematics and a free body diagram. So if you recall from school, torque equals R cross F, where R is the length of that and F is your force. And so in our free body diagram, we have the motor, the solar panels, this is the U-joint that we're talking about with the support posts on an undulating surface. And the first thing you gotta do is to find your coordinate system. From there, we need to break down free body diagrams specifically for this undulated surface. So we have our torque going in this direction with rotation coming into the board, and we have our torque in our Y and our X with this degree of angle, and our torque in our Y and our X uh, with the second solar panel. And so if we look at the net torque, what we're looking at is the torque in the X, the sum of it, and in the Y. And when we contrast this then to what it looks like in a horizontal position, that's what Kai is talking about. That your torque in your X is the sum of the 100% of these. So when you're at an undulated surface, because of this U-joint, you actually have a much smaller torque in your X, this direction, which is what the motor's turning. And the rest is supported by these posts into the ground. You can see. You didn't tell me I could touch the thing. Oh, I mean, sure, I, yeah, you wanna. Yeah, we, I'm over here like it's this delicate piece of control. Oh no, this is supposed to survive 100 mile, 105 mile an hour winds. You can. You're sure this works. 
The Novatos team is really living that ME dream, doing what mechanical engineers were trained to do, designing structures, systems, free body diagrams, joints, gearings, the works. There are certainly challenges that face teams like Novatos bringing solar energy to the masses though. I'm curious what your thoughts are on the biggest barriers that face this growing industry. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below and make sure to hit subscribe for more videos that take you into the world of hardware generation.